Expensive chocolates are way better than cheap chocolates. The media has told you lots of lies, and I think this is one of them. To prove this, we have four contestants all together. Two expensive chocolate bars and two slightly cheaper ones. We are going to judge them on three categories. The first one is a taste. The second one is a value, like is the quality of the chocolate actually worth the price tag? And the third one is speciality or looks. We'll add all three of these into a total point and the winner will be announced in the end of the video. But before we get all into that, this place is all consumer to eat chocolate. So why don't we head right to the nature? Now let's get into it. First of all is a chocolate covered almond. These were the cheapest out of all of them. Now let's go ahead and try them. Right off the bat, this looks way different than any other chocolate. I like the fact how it has a nut inside, which gives it that extra point for health. But now let's try them. Now onto the grading criteria. For me, this chocolate, the value is a solid 10. The taste, is a five and the specialty is a three now on to my turn you can see this is an egg shape very original and looks amazing let's give it a try i agree with everything my brother said but the thing is i'll change the taste up to a six so let's move it to a 5.5 up next we have the chocolate covered macadamia nuts they were a bit more expensive than a counterpart of the almonds but the cover for macadamia is still almonds so what can you expect now for a taste test. I love this golden box. Would you look at that? What a wonderful design. I love that they have eight macadamia nuts covered in chocolate right beside each other in a very beautiful tray. And now it's our time to taste them. Here goes nothing. Well, this is very high. The taste is gonna be a solid seven. The looks is going to be a solid 10 because of the structure they have on their chocolate plus the big tray. And finally, the value is an absolute 10. Down only my opinion and let's see who else can beat that score. Up to my brother now. Let's taste. In fact, I couldn't agree any less, but I think the taste should not be a 7. It should be an 8. Now for the penultimate contestant. We have this Godiva. Masterpieces Dark Chocolate Ganache Heart from Belgium Benzel. Gold bands all around it. I couldn't be any more excited. Would you look at that? These look so good in common packets of four. But now let's try them. Honestly, I was expecting so much more from the price. But it is what it is. And for me, the taste is a solid nine. You don't really get that much value from such an item. I would say a four, and finally, the looks. I honestly thought it would be much better, as mentioned before, a five. Would you look at that? Looks amazing, just a heart, looks so great. All right, looks amazing, I'll just give it a try. I couldn't agree with him anymore, and my scores are the same as his, so let's keep that. For this price, I was kind of expecting a bit more. Same as my brother, but here we are. Now for the last one. The ultimate contestant also got Diva, but it is also masterpieces. It's a milk chocolate caramel lion of Belgium. You can see this design. There's a kind of shield shape with a lion in the middle, and you can see in the middle there's caramel. Unlike the other, which is ganache on the inside, but yeah, let's give it a try. Similar packaging to the dark chocolate ganache. Now for the reveal. Amazing. Oh, the, the piece of caramel right there. Amazing. It looks like this is definitely way better than the other Godiva. Let's give it a try now. Just look at the caramel. This is honestly what you can call a burst of flavor. Outside there's a field of chocolate and inside there's some sweet and salty caramel in the middle. For the taste, what can you expect? A solid 10 out of 10. The speciality, again, the looks are very good, but again, still pretty basic. Not as good as the macadamia nuts, so I'll just give it a 5. 
And for the value, again, we're just gonna keep it as four because it isn't that great. I'm not gonna wait anymore. Let's try. Taste is undescribably amazing, like my brother said, but the speciality, I mean, it's just a lion. Now for the final results. The winner is right behind my back, but for those who are keeping track in the video, must know the winner already. For us, it was kind of a heated debate, but this one, obviously, we're just way above the others. I mean, the design was fancy, I like its price, and it was just amazing altogether. The winner of the annual chocolate competition is... Yes! Congratulations to everyone who came into this point of the video. I just want to say thank you on behalf of me and my brother for all the never ending support you guys gave to us. We really hope you have a great day and until next time.